Hello my friends and welcome back to our continued blind let's play the casting of Frank Stone the redemption run That's right today. It is our goal to try to do everything the right way And we all saw how horrible I am at that in the first run And then we saw it again in the second run where I basically made everyone's lives absolutely miserable and dead Now though, we're gonna try to make everyone's lives good Good, or at least try to do the best we can to get an ultimate ending while at the same time also trying to do other things to unlock this cutting room floor as I've said before I have played through this game I'm calling this blind because the cool thing about these games is every single time you play them you see new things and at the end of the day that's what I want to see I want to see as many new things as possible while doing everything the right way quote unquote only one way to find out if we can do that though. Let's get started with our redemption run. I hope we all having a wonderful, fantastic, amazingly awesome day because I am really excited. Normally the redemption run always sees us do things that we haven't seen before. If you remember the quarry, there was an entire extra sequence for it. that we didn't see until the redemption run. A world within a story whispered to me centuries ago. Of a timeless power. Infinite in knowledge. Voracious in hunger. The entity. A realm so close to ours, but always out of reach. Until I found him. Frank Stone. My key. My killer. I am Augustine Lieber. And I'm about to change our worlds forever. Oh, I'm so excited. I am I'm I'm like really 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 excited right now Yes, this will be a complete playthrough I'm not cutting this up like I might have done in previous uh, alternate failure runs We want to see everything from the get-go how things play out and how many different variations of different scenes we can get I don't know why I never noticed that, but there's a baby crying. I, I played this scene multiple times, and I I guess I was just engrossed the scene and creeped out by what's going on. I didn't realize that there's a baby crying, and it's so obvious now that I hear it. I'm like, how did I not see or hear that before? Home for missing infant continues. <laughs> Chapter One The Burning Maw. Oh, by the way, I am going to try to get all the uh, secrets, all the collectibles, if I can. If I can, that, that that that's like a keyword. If if I can. I think what I really should do is turn this on observer, just to make sure that I get everything I need to. Because this this is not about 
This is not about a skill issue. It's about a story issue right now. I'm assuming you're the night watchman here. I and we do have original costumes on. Or just you? We've seen the, the, the alternate site? quite a lot. I got help. Where are they now? On duty? Well, the manor. Merlin just goes where he pleases. Merlin? A dog. Doberman Pincher. Best friend a fellow could ask for. Loyal to the seventh horn sounds. Trust him more than I trust myself. Serious, I need to ask you a few questions. I need to ask you a few questions. I'm yours to dispose of. And I have your name? Thomas Jefferson Holt. Call me Tom. Officer Sam Green. Tom, I want to talk to you about... I know what about. That missing boy, right? That's right. You think he could be missing here? This mill looks a big place. Biggest at all Cedar Hills. But that don't make no difference. Ain't no funny business going on around here. Not undermining Merlin's noses. Curious. You sound confident. And rightly so. Can I check your records? No records? The logbook, visitors to the mill, out of our shifts, that sort of thing. All right, right. Uh, well, gotta be here someplace. Is that it? Uh, it's okay. Allow me. I see. Accusatory. Let's explore these as much as possible. Someone's been faking the entries. No. Who? I'm guessing you, Tom. Me? Well, maybe your partner Merlin helps you. Sounds like he's expected to pick up all your slack. It ain't like that. I don't do it for me. I just got to cover for some of the mother fellas now and then. The ones who won't sign in or out. Got any names for me? Well, uh, what is it now? Hank, maybe? Oh, no, 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 no. Fred something. Yeah, that's it. Fred, Fred something. Come on, Tom. Stone? How about Frank Stone? I'm sorry, Sam. I don't remember. Alcohol does tend to impair the memory. That what you come out here for? To give a veteran a hard time about his medicinal practices? No. I'm here because a child is missing. And every minute wasted is another chance gone to find him. Boy, you ain't gonna find him here. I'd know it in my bones if that boy were within a mile of this mill. Consistent or stern. Um, let's be... Uh, let's be... Uh, let's try to be nice. Insistent. All the same, I'd like to take a look around. You want to do my job for me? Be my guest. Thank you for your help, Tom. Happy to oblige. So he's been lending him Frank Stone. Hank Fred Stone. <laughs> okay, the first thing I want to do is probably pick up the, uh, the thing on the ground. Even if I got them in previous playthroughs, I still want to try to get them all in this playthrough, if possible. I know there's a part in the game that diverges slightly. You know, when you, uh, when you try to get into the mill. I'm not sure how that's going to work yet. I really, really, really love the alternate costume. So the reason I went back to the originals is because I want to be able to compare them better now that I've seen and played through them a bunch of times. Eridessa King, she pops to take away my pain, take away my nightmares. I'm assuming that's talking about Augustine. 
I would say Queen Sue Fanon, but that's actually a king, not a queen in the movie or the book. Yeah, I, I saw the movie. It's the one book my great granddad read in his entire life. An open window. I can get in through there. If you're not sure of the book I'm, or movie I'm talking about, it's uh, The Canto Monte Cristo. Amazing movie, by the way. Just incredible movie. Huh. Easy does it. I remember there was like a log book somewhere. Wait, wait, wait. Hold the phone. Seven one five dash six. Does that mean anything to anyone? Is that just a bunch of random numbers or does that have some some special meaning somehow, some way? I don't I think it's in the next room. Like this room doesn't transition me yet. Yeah, it's right here. Huh? Employee's personal record, date employed February 4th, surname, preferred name, T E F A. So, Frank Stone. This is Frank Stone's record. Things you realize after you play the game once, uh, or twice, or two and a half, three, whatever. A uh, date of birth, 41727, current position, machinist. Address, uh, Singer House, Cedar Hills. Uh, criminal record, one charge, assault, robbery, uh, sponsor the release. Dr. A. R. Now there is a, there is a card at the end of the game, which is something Lieber. So I think the sponsor there is Augustine Lieber. I don't think that's a pseudonym from the, uh, the card. I think that's just straight up Augustine Lieber. And we'll employ you guys' job endorsement from a Dr. Lieber. Yeah, Dr. Lieber. Uh, Friday... <laughs> I just realized that. It's Friday the 13th. Uh, afternoon, Norris, McCann, Rivers, Frank Stone, and Osterman. Moot Dawkins and Stone off graveyard to pick up slack. They use running three crews with half the manpower. Some fellas got to double up shifts. Told the lump can now fight. No one's working nights for a while. Ox. Okay, let's move this out of the way. And then I don't think Hello? there was anything Anyone else. Here? It's police. For a while. But I have missed stuff. Like I said, I'm gonna try to do a bit more investigating. I really wanna go up that up that area as well. And I know I said I was gonna wait out the clock here. I don't think waiting out the clock does anything. Maybe I'll do that on my free time when I'm not recording. Because the thing is, I'm recording pretty late at night right now, so I don't really have time to sit here and just watch a clock. Who's there? Okay, we've never gone up the stairs before. Apparently, he doesn't want to go up the stairs. Think twice. The best safety measure is a mindful worker. Keep your peers safe. Okay, so there is absolutely nothing up here. That's kind of disappointing. I've been waiting to go up here for so many hours. And to know there's nothing up there is kind of a shame. Ugh, smells like death. Yep, there's a bunch of really bad stuff over here.
Hey. Mister. That's Officer Green. Sure. You haven't seen Merlin, have you? No. Yeah. Sorry. Ah. You all right there? Uh, yeah, it's just... Jesus, you don't smell that? <sighs> Sniffer's out of commission. <laughs> Got a little too up close and personal with a can of mustard gas back in the trenches. Ah. It can be a blessing in disguise. Ugh. Gotta find out where it's coming from. What's it smell like? Nothing good. Hold on. Let me check over here. Nope, nope, we came that way. And we can't go this way. Don't see anything over here. Merlin! There you are, boy. We wondered where you got to. If you two made proper acquaintance, Ugh. God damn it. <clears throat> yeah, it's gross. You put this out for him? No. It looks like someone else has found his way to your boy's heart through his stomach. It ain't possible. Merlin and me, we're a team. Who'd want to come between a man and his best friend? What's that? Some kind of wiener mate? Did you know in ancient uh, Britain, or not ancient Britain, but like 1700s Britain, they called sausages bag of mysteries because no one knew what was in them? Will you look at that? That damn dog? Think that belongs to the boy you're looking for? Uh, unsettled. Nah. Came from someone much older. A teenager, maybe. Jesus, married a milkmaid. Hey, you know about any other folks going missing in Cedar Hills lately? Well, I don't know. Who would know a thing like that? Well... Somebody does. What was that sound? Stay behind me. Nothing good, that's for sure. Okay, this is a great. I cannot mess up the great this time. Like every playthrough, I mess up the great, particularly because when I had to restart the game, I, I messed up the great. <laughs> So, what is this thing? The grate? Yeah, what is it for? <laughs> it's, uh, for the furnace, I think. You don't know for sure? Yeah, I work at the mill, not in the mill. Hmm. We know how to do this. Let's come over here. Huh. Make sure we don't destroy gotcha. the crowbar this time. I got this can be kept to use later. It's not about being kept and used later. It's, I mean, technically you can use it later, like right here. But the, the point is, you're supposed to not break this because later on it becomes important, I guess. Stand back.
All right. Take this. Use the radio in my car and call the station. Where, where are you going? You, you really think that boy's down there? I don't know. But I got a feeling, and it's not a good feeling. Hey. I'm gonna need you to take this, too. Make sure the sheriff gets this. Oh, oh boy, I don't know. Frustrated or supportive? I need your help here, buddy. I need your help here, Tom. I wouldn't ask if I didn't. I just don't know if I'm made of the stuff, buddy. Sure you are. They don't call it a higher calling for nothing. You gotta rise to meet it. You can do this. I, I, yeah. I can do this. Mm-hmm. Hey. I'm counting on you, Tom Hope. Put your faith in Tom. Save dies, full credit. I guess they do that to destroy the ladder so you can't come back up. Okay. So is this some wolves? Then if I remember correctly. Damn it. There's also a doohickey way back here. That's right, it didn't go wall. Maybe it didn't go wall because I've already gotten it. No, I got the first one. I know what it is to believe though, the past is clear. Huh, that's kind of weird. Okay. Go down here. Uh, which way? Which way? Which way? That door looks familiar. Did I just do a... I swear, I get lost in this place all the time. This place is like my arch enemy or this something. This has got to be it. <sighs> Who is that anyway? Is that Frank Stone? And is that the pendant, the, the protective pendant, which I don't think is a really protective pendant? Yeah. Uh, this place turns my stomach. Can go through there. I can hop over here. Huh. There's a hillbilly. Things just get weirder and weirder. Down Twisted here. man turned monster. Damn small spaces. <clears throat> okay, I can do it that way. I don't know if uh, there is anything else here. I think that just takes you back around. 
Okay, let's see if we can actually pass the skill check. Nice. This is so dark in the uh in the comeback area. Yes, I just said the comeback area. You know, when you come back here later in the game. Sorry, I had a sneeze there and hopefully I muted it. I am going to go the ladder this time. Because I went up the ramp last time. I went up the ladder the first time. Ah! Okay, that one got me. That one got me pretty good. Ain't gonna lie, that one got me. I think I should know by now, but nope, I don't. We still have the flashlight, right. Did we not do it in time? Do I get hooked no matter what I do? Do I legit get hooked no matter what I do? Uh, let's go back and replay that. Maybe if I succeed in that first QTE. Stone blinded. Okay, technically we're not serious injured, but there is a... There is something down there that we haven't seen before, so... Let's try that again. Maybe this time we'll go up the ramp. See if that's different. Now, I really feel like the ladder may be the right play. We just gotta avoid that first QTE. And not get freaked out again. Good lord. This is hellish. Ladder. Take two. This time, don't panic, flightless. Okay, much better. This all seems the same, though. Stop. Seems we're going by really fast for some reason. 
Like, I'm on Observer and it's going by super fast. I don't know why. All right, let me try this again, except this time I'm going up the ramp. Although, I'll put a cut here. Okay, we're back. We're gonna go up the ramp. If uh, my thing works. Surprisingly, we did miss something in the furnace area, according to the cutting room floor. Ooh! So you gotta dodge that no matter what. But this time you're coming from an opposite direction. Doesn't matter, he doesn't attack till you get close. Yeah, I don't know how you don't get hooked here. I did turn off the combat. So maybe it was just going too fast, which is ridiculous because it was supposed to be on the easy difficulty. Yeah, I turned that off. I even crit that last time. Maybe, maybe you get seriously injured if you stay on the hook. Like you fail the QTE of pulling yourself off. So no matter what you do, you're always gonna get hooked here in some way. I mean, this is the playthrough to find things out. I'm a little sad I missed the thing in the uh, furnace, but if it's something really, really important, we can go back to it. I wish they would have ate less game. And why can we cap him in the head, but we can't cap Augustine in the head? I mean, that seems unfair. So far, Redemption Run seems to be going well. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Take a second to explore. Mom. 
That's not Bonnie, is it? Or is that her other mom? I wonder what happens if we pick up the cup and picture each time. The door disappeared. Creepy. None of this is right. Now she's scratched off. I wonder what the the symbolism is here. I kind of wish the game had more sequences like this. More like nightmare sequences. Because I think this is really cool and it only happens once the entire game. I wonder if that's trying to warn you not to drink. Like, that's the whole purpose of that scene. This really does remind me of uh, Silent Hill Downpour, was it? I think I mentioned that before, but... Th th there's a scene that looks a lot like this. By the way, Silent Hill 2 Remaster, have you played it? What's your thoughts? I've completed all the Silent Hill games on my channel except for the the other ones. Uh, the Message, the newest one, and of course uh, the visual novel one or whatever that one is, the, the looter one. There's this really, there's this really strange one. That might be Bonnie. Her hair is black. Right. Chili. I know 55 isn't chilly, chilly for most people, but for for this flightless bird, get a grip. It's a little bit chilly. Do this, Maddie. Just stay on the right side of the road. I mean, the left, the left side. 
side is the right side. Yeah, left is always right. I, I like Maddie. She's my favorite character of all time. She agrees with me. Now, I know if we don't stop, we is get bonus points with her. But I'm going to go ahead and stop. Left is always right. You need a lift? Reynolds got a flat. Oh, you're American. Yeah. So am I. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so... Do you mind giving me a lift? Right, sure, of course. You can drop me off at Garrett Manor. It's just a few miles up the road. Huh, weird. That's actually where I'm going, too. So it's not out of your way? Uh, guess not. I kind of liked her with the shades. And I miss the little bunny hood Maddie wears. It's adorable. I'd be great if the hitchhiker just suddenly killed you and took your car and drove on and you, like, Maddie dies right here and right now. That would be amazing. So we're both going to the same place, huh? What are the odds of that? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess it's not all that odd, seeing as, you know, we're already pretty close, and I don't think this road goes anywhere else. So, did you say you were going to Garrett Manor for business, or...? I did not. Oh. So, um, where are you from? From? Like, where do you live? Paris. That's where I'm from, currently. Before that, I was from Amsterdam, Dublin, Milan, Los Angeles, and Oregon, once upon a time. That's cool. Hey, my mom's from Oregon. Well, one of them is. I always heard it was really nice. Or kind of a shithole. Do we have like a, a really nice the mom? kind of shithole? I mean, I wouldn't know anyway because I've it's never It's kind of weird they mention it and it's just like never brought up. I'm a big Apple girl, up. born and raised. Barely even made it north of 14th Street before going off to college. Here in England? Uh, no, Berlin, actually. Oh, I'm Maddie, by the way. Linda. It's nice to meet you, Maddie. Yeah, you too. Even if I was worried, you might try to clonk me. Ah, uh, sorry. Curious or apprehensive? It's got apprehensive. So, what do you know about this manor we're both coincidentally going to? Hmm. What do you know about it? <laughs> Hold on now, that's not fair. I asked you first. Okay, well, I don't know anything, and I'm guessing neither do you. Mm, I didn't say I didn't know anything. Yeah, you did. You could <laughs> tell. Kinda, yeah. All I know is that I was invited for a personal audience with Augustine Lieber, and that that was supposed to be super fancy or something, and that it would be in my best interest not to turn it down. Hmm. Huh. What? My invitation was pretty much the same. Take a look. So I don't think we're able to increase our I think we've come to the end of the rainbow. Favoritism with her by picking her up. It's almost like you gotta not pick her up to get friends with her. And the hell is so dark. This place is definitely a little too, uh... On the nose? 
I was gonna say a little too much like a horror movie. Exactly. So, um, do we just knock or? I'm not sure. Oh, I doorbell. Maybe nobody's home. She looks so creepy standing this back there. This is definitely when I was told to get here. Mm, me too. Hello? Anybody home? It's a good rule of thumb to try every door. No, oh, you think? Well, they're expecting us, aren't they? No way, is it? Do we just go in? Why are you asking me? Because you're a grown up. So are you, Maddie. And <sighs> <laughs> uh, here we go. Apparently. Off. Beats me. Hello. I can actually explore this Let's time. Take a look around. That's not. I mean, the first time I did is actually went in the door because I didn't understand the uh, um, the whole X button hello? thing yet. We've arrived. So don't go through that way. Thing here, huh? This is our uh, box. Missing four. Let's go upstairs. Never been upstairs before. Go further upstairs. Anything over here? Huh. Well, even I could play this. Survivor's theme by M? DB, oh, I'm sorry, D flat, C, D flat, B flat. No, that's not D flat. That's. What is that? That's not even what's written on the card. I mean, that looks like DC. Oh, it must be flat because of the notation on the right. Okay. I mean, on the left. Okay. Because that's DC, D, B, B. D, C, D, B. Oh, you hold it. Okay, yeah, it must be flat because of the key it's in. Going very silent hilly here with the musical instruments. Chessboard, can't do anything with that. Can go on that door. Okay. Okay, there's no door on this side. Let's go in the other door. Really digging these creepy cottage core vibes. Now I mentioned Silent Hill, but this kind of feels like eternal darkness. Bruno Stanford, third Esquire, business connoisseur. Behind all good ideas, a plan behind all great ones to stand. Oh, it's Stan! So his full name is Bruno Stanford the Third Esquire. Looking forward to doing business with you. Huh. That's today. Augustine, looking forward to doing business if you mean what you promise. I'm sure it's going to be worth it for a while. See you on the 13th. Please call me Stan. Yes, got a good number for one of those British black cabs. My usual guy's indisposed, so to speak. I think we might not be the only ones here. And this could play out differently business if she's not here or not. He's a snob about business. Because if you don't pick Yuck. her up, she's not here. Huh. I love the, the, the diversions in this game. Miss Lieber, I'm ready to confirm that as per your instruction, I have asked the staff to take leave and vacate the grounds ahead of your visitors arriving. Oh, she emptied out the mansion. 
I recall hearing mentioned that your visitors are all collectors with a shared interest to yourself. If this is the case, it would not be preferable, even desirable, to keep one trusted staff member on hand to handle any precious items if required. I recommend myself for this duty and do not consider it below my station, for I would relish the chance to glimpse and handle your precious items in the private reliquary should it be needed. I'm only a short drive away if it called upon, and you need to consider yourself with discretion. In my three years of service as a state manager or Garrett Manor, I have provided I have proved to be a model of reserve poverty and reliability. I await your response with keen anticipation, your devoted servant JF Grimes. I was surprised she didn't lose I think I figured out why there's no one here. What Good. why? I think they must have forgot we were coming and went on a trip or something. Maybe. Okay, so we got a trophy for collecting all storyteller artifacts. Which means uh, the, the only ones we had left was maybe this one. But I don't know why Augustine didn't just keep her hired help here. Wouldn't that be more to sacrifice? Ooh, play? a piano. Um, a little. I play a little. Oh, that's from the song. Whoa. Ooh, look at this! Crazy, right? Uh, yeah. Motif. Played a familiar theme on the piano. You've seen a real secret passage before? Uh, it's fairly common for old mansions like these to have concealed corridors. To allow the servants to come and go while being seen as little as possible. You got some of these in your house too, huh? Secrecy is a privilege of the rich, stolen from the rights of the oppressed. Okay. I want a house with secret passages. Well, actually, I just want a house. This is kind of freaking me out. It's weird, right? Arriving at an abandoned mansion with no one to greet you? Yeah, it's a little odd. Oh, God. This is when some guy with a chainsaw <laughs> rushes up from the basement, isn't it? <laughs> You've been invited here for a reason. And I don't think it's so our host can wear our faces with leather masks. <sighs> well, that's a leather face reference, isn't that's it? That's super comforting. The, the guy from Texas Chainsaw Massacre? I've never seen the movies. I just kind of know the character. Oh, I see something. That looks like something we've never seen before. Hmm. <clears throat> Kid must have had a creepy doll on their Christmas list. The Huntress, the lullaby that haunts the dark forest. It looks like there's more here. This seems a bit more lively. Something over there and there's something over here. Well, that's a transition point. Oh, look where we are. Okay, we did a giant circle. Which I guess is a thing. But I want to make sure that... Yeah, I, I think we got everything we need here. So let's go meet Stan and see if the dialogue is any different now that we find his card. Ah, ladies. Hello, hello, welcome. Hello. Didn't exactly get explicit directions as to what to do once I got here, so. <laughs> yeah, um, same. I am so sorry. Where are my manners? My name is Stan. And you would be? Maddie. Maddie. Beautiful name. It, short for Madeline. Madison, actually. Ah. Uh, middle name Lexington? <laughs> what? Big town. The Big Apple, the, the city that never sleeps. Home to the most beautiful of women and fiendishly desperate of men. 
Madison Avenue. Okay, got it. A fitting name for such a lovely lady. Oh, interested. Stan as in short for Stanford. Stan, that wouldn't be short for Stanford, would it? <laughs> I see my reputation precedes me. Bruno Stanford the third. That's your beck and call. But only if you call me Stan. <laughs> I like oh, that. Stan, oh, that's charming. Linda Castle. I am such a huge fan of your work. I, I am I, I'm at a loss for words. I am just humbled by your presence. Uh, okay. Sure. Bruno Stanford the third. At your beck and call. Only if you call me Stan. <laughs> sure. Truly an honor. <laughs> Truly. Uh, so what's going on right now? Uh, well, I think our new friend here is familiar with some of my little oh, movies. Hold on, hold on. Your movies are a lot of things, but they are not little. You're a filmmaker? Uh, yeah. I've made some movies. <laughs> a lot more than some movies, if I may say so. Have you heard of a little film called Buried by the Break of Dawn? Blood point. <laughs> Blood benders. The blade may swing in both directions, but death only moves in one. Um, no. Sorry. Wait, didn't you two come here together? Oh, no. I mean, yeah, we drove in together, but only the last couple miles. I had some car trouble. I see. I'm sorry. I had thought that you were Miss Castle's assistant. <laughs> nope. Just me. Wait, should I be flattered or insulted by that? <laughs> oh, well, I didn't mean. I'm just flattered you think I have an assistant. I'm sure if you did, she would not be nearly as charming as, as Miss Avenue. Your last name is Avenue? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> what? Did I miss Mass something? Avenue. <laughs> I missed that the first time. Host, wherever they may be. I guess we should keep looking around. I mean, why not at this point? Maybe our host has left something out for us. What do you do, Stan? Oh, I won't bore you with all the details, but it involves money and fast cars and trading. But nothing illegal, obviously. Oh, obviously. Epic of Gilgamesh, one of the oldest stories ever written. Also incomplete. <laughs> A bit of light bedtime reading. Tell it five, the slain of Humbaba. My friend Humbaba, guardian of the forest, grind up, kill, pulverize, and destroy him. Before the preeminent god and Lil hears, and the gods are full of rage at us. And Lil is in Nippur, Shamash is in Sippar. Erect an eternal monument proclaiming how Gilgamesh killed Humbaba. They tied together Raph, and Kiddu steered it, while Gilgamesh held the head of Humbaba. Annotation. Read carefully, Norman. Study close what Enkidu tells Gilgamesh. He saw beyond Hambabu's pleas for clemency. Recognized? Uh, sparing the demon would undo our hero's righteously won victory. That only a violent demonstration would stir the watching gods. There is no room for mercy in the pursuit of glory. The heavens will not open for a champion that shows restraint. Who the heck is Norman? Like, do we ever figure that out? What contaminant is straight to Norman? How acts of violence could be heroic. Is that supposed to be Frank Stone? Okay. Nothing else here? I don't think so. Getting run around by this table here. That's locked. Okay, let's open the door. Huh. Movie poster inside a cabinet. They enter the murder choice. mill. Hey, either of you heard of murder mill? Holy shinobi. You're kidding, right? No. 
Not the only one around here who's familiar with it. Wait, this is one of yours? It's one of the first things I ever worked on. Super low budget. We had no idea what we were doing. Should never have seen the light of day. I still wish it hadn't. Why? Well, things tend to get blown out of proportion. I heard it was only screened a few times. And each time, the audience flew into a rabid, murderous rage. No, no, come on. Don't try and deny it. The film is legendary. I think people were just bored out of their minds. Look, I'm sure they made you sign all sorts of non-disclosure agreements, like... What? Who? The government. When they confiscated and destroyed every existing copy of the film. Oh, give me a break. I heard they kept at least one, just in case. And the CIA has got this secret lab called Leary's Memorial Institute, where they use it for enhanced interrogation. How do you know all this? I wonder if we'll see a Larry's Memorial Institute in a future game. And it pays to know this kind of stuff. Hmm. Uh, is that supposed to happen? I don't know, but I am digging up the actress. <laughs> Oh, hostess. Ah, good. I see you three have wasted no time getting acquainted with each other. I'm so very sorry for the delay in my arrival. There are a great many things that require my attention at the moment, and I would hate to have to deprive you of my full attention while we are together. <clears throat> ah, yes, and speaking of needing attention... Uh, we'll try it up, are we? We can't have that. After all, you're far too capable of a negotiator when you're sober. And twice that when I'm not. <laughs> Madison, would you also like a refreshment? Uh, it's just Maddie. Oh, my mistake, Maddie it is. Oh, it's fine. Nonsense. Never be shy about what you call yourself. Your name is who you are. That's important to remember. And who are you? I call myself Augustine Lieber. Interesting how she says it. I call myself. Nice to meet you. Augustine no one talks Lieber. like that. Now that we are properly introduced. Any theories on that? I must again. Or is just that? You a drink. Or is that just a weird greeting? Okay, now I know what we should do. We should say no. However, there is something that can happen if we say yes, and it doesn't happen just by saying yes. It happens by saying yes and doing something else. So I think I say yes here. That way, later on, in my anti-redemption videos, we can explore what that other thing is. So yeah, I'll have whatever Stan's having. Sure, yeah. I'll just have whatever Stan's having. Of course. And you? No thanks. I think you may like it. Never had a drink in my life. I don't plan on starting now. I know it's been quite a long journey for you all to come here today. I hope, despite that, you'll find it'll all be worth the effort. Guess that's up to you now, isn't it? I suppose it is. Well, I'll show you mine. Do you show me yours? Aren't we a bit eager? <laughs> Manners, Mr. Stamford. Not all of us are caught up yet. <laughs> your drink. Thanks. You okay? Yeah, no, it's it's nothing. Same glass. <laughs> Brass ax, Augustine. I did not come all this way just for drinks. What's in there? Look, I don't know what you two have come to sell her, but I just happen to have one of the most sought after pieces of rare cinematic ephemera to ever hit the market. Huh. Well, that right there is the only surviving segment of film from the original camera shot celluloid of one Murder Mill. The earliest known work of a certain noted Artur, allegedly. Should be worth a small fortune. So I'm told. Hate to burst your bubble. Damn it. There goes its one-of-a-kind value. <laughs> Not quite. I 
I, I, I never knew what it was from. You told me I had to bring this to you in person if I wanted to make it. I will keep the promises I made to you. All of you. In our own screwed up way. What if I don't want to sell? Well, that would be your choice. But after 40 years of pain, why would you choose to live with more? I have to apologize again, but there are urgent matters I must attend to in my private reliquary. You are welcome to continue to make yourselves at home until I return. I really think we need to finish discussing all in due course, Ms. Castle. All right, well. I think this is a good of a stopping point as so any. Close. I could feel the entity's force, its power pulsating through the steel mill. Until Sam Green's petty act of bravado ruined everything. The ritual disrupted. My key mangled. Yet Frank Stone didn't die that night. His essence was seared into the very foundations of the mill. An endless, agonized nightmare. I had to find the right means to awaken him. Shoot to chapter three. Yep. All right, my friends. So my name is the Footless Bear. This is Sorby's Gaming Channel, and this is our redemption run of uh, the casting of Frank Stone. I'm not going to go ahead and go through the collections right now because I think after we play through this run, we're just going to go through everything all at once, and we'll see all the things we've seen before. Sure, but that's fine. It's just a way to make sure that we see everything. If I go through everything now, I don't want to miss anything. So, yeah, that, that's kind of what I'll do. I love you all so very much, and I hope you have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day. We'll be back soon with more Frank Stone, but until then, so long, and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant, and you are loved, and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.